move. We dive into this news segment with some breaking inputs coming in from the national capital. After being summoned by the CBI, Delhi's Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has set to move the court. He's tweeted saying that we will file appropriate cases against the CBI and ED officials for perjury and producing false evidence in court. Remember, the Delhi Chief Minister's tweet comes shortly after he addressed the uh, press conference in which he alleged that the BJP-led government has been using central agencies to only uh, get people to testify against him and Manish Sisodia. Uh, for more, I'm joined in by our correspondent Rupashree who's joining me on the phone line. Rupashree, this is a blistering allegation coming in from the Delhi Chief Minister wherein uh, he stated that the CBI and ED are in fact torturing people to testify against Sisodia and him. Well, absolutely. And uh, in order to, you know, strengthen that uh, allegation and uh, to uh, make uh, drive home his point that uh, the Aam Aadmi Party or he himself as Chief Minister is actually taking it very seriously. The Chief Minister also tweeted uh, saying uh, that they will move the court, uh, you know, uh, against uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, allegation that uh, ED and CBI officers are uh, torturing uh, people uh, to uh, give uh, statements. And uh, he also, uh, you know, uh, argued by uh, pointing out to the various uh, say, statements that uh, the, the you, know, you know various players in this particular case uh, have given in front of the CBI and ED and later withdrawn or retracted them in the court of law. Uh, so Chief Minister Arvin Kejriwal actually uh, you know making uh, this uh, point that this is essentially a political witch hunt and uh, this is vendetta politics and also trying to drive home the point that that uh, allegedly there is actually no uh, you know excise scam that has happened uh, in his government. Because if it was so, then the money would have been recovered by someone from somewhere. And uh, he said that nothing was uh, recovered from Sisodia. And he also argued that even when uh, these allegations have been made, that uh, crores of money were spent uh, in the Goa elections and all the vendors, uh, vendors were raided, uh, the, the vendors that the Amadi party had hired, nothing was recovered from them either. Uh, so, the, But uh, I also want to make the point that Amadi party, remember, is actually going through its perhaps worst crisis because uh, the chief minister is also alive to the fact that uh, tomorrow's interrogation may also end up in arrest, whatever is the possibility. It may be 5%, 10%, 50%, but the chance is there. And if that happens, then what is next uh, for the government and the party? Uh, so definitely uh, the uh, chief minister fighting it out with his back to the wall and not actually, uh, you know, backing off from his uh, attacks on uh, the opposite BJP over here. It remains to be seen what happens tomorrow. But we expect our Aadmi Party workers to hit the streets tomorrow as uh, the Chief Minister goes in for his questioning at 11 a.m. Absolutely. In fact, I'm also joined in by Nikhil Lakwani on the phone line. Nikhil, if we are to focus on the kind of narrative that is now coming out uh, from the Aadmi Aad Party and not just the AAP, but also the other opposition parties, including opposition figures, uh, Yesterday, we heard even a couple Sibbal come out in support of the Aam Aadmi Party and he said it is not prosecution that is on course, but it is rather the persecution which is on course. And that is exactly what we saw uh, in terms of what came out from the press conference that was addressed by Kejriwal today. Well, exactly. And this is the point which was touched upon by Gaurav Bhatia as well, who is the national spokesperson from the Bharti Janta Party. He mentioned that how during the time of the appearance of Manish Sisodia as well, when the Aam Aadmi Party knocked the door of Supreme Court that time as well, they got a setback from the Supreme Court. And then 14 of the opposition parties, they had reached out to the doorsteps of Supreme Court, wherein they wanted certain directions as far as the arresting and the overall questioning which takes by the investigating agencies is concerned. But that time as well, a huge setback was received by the opposition parties as well. So this is something which the leaders of the Bharati Janata Party as well, they are saying that now Supreme Court as well believe that the agencies are working independently and there should not be any of the pressure which should be put in by the Arvind Kejriwal as well who has been questioned tomorrow. But yes, the kind of narrative is being set uh, by uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal as well who is going to appear before the CBI officials. If you go by the press conferences as well, uh, since the time when the information came out in the public domain, 
uh, since that time we are seeing that the couple of PCs are being addressed by the leaders of the uh, Aam Aadmi Party from Sanjay Singh to Atishi and now Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal as well where they are saying that just because he raised a couple of questions to Prime Minister Narin Modi over his degree, over his corruption remark as well, this is the reason why the leaders of the opposition party are now being framed by the investigating agencies. But again, at the same time, he has used this particular opportunity to target the CBI and the other investigating agencies as well, including that of ED. He has been, in fact, he has gone on to say that the false evidences have been uh, submitted in the court of law as far as the 14 of the cell phones are concerned, which as per the uh, agency are missing, are untraceable. Uh, Arvind Kishwal says that they have also uh, done their parallel investigation and the IMEI number of those cell phones suggests that the cell phones are currently active in different parts of the city. So they should not lie in the court of law and they are who the Aam Aadmi Party will take appropriate action and they are in the process of filing action, filing case as right. well against the uh, ED and CBI as well for saying false uh, facts inside the court of law. So this is the kind of narrative which is being set up uh, by Chief Mr. Arvind Kejriwal but he is all set to face the heat tomorrow at the CBI headquarters at about 11 a.m. Absolutely and the tensions for which are already building up for the Aam Aadmi Party especially the Delhi Chief Minister.